Now to Italy, where the trial of American college student Amanda Knox is back underway. Knox is accused of murdering her roommate, and now there are some new accusations tied to the case. NBC's Donna Friesen has the latest. Donna, good morning. Good morning, Meredith. Yes, several developments in this case. The man who's already been sentenced to 30 years for the murder of Meredith Kircher, Rudy Gueda, is appealing his conviction, and he says he's innocent, that the real motive for the murder wasn't sex, it was money. And though Amanda Knox herself has always maintained her innocence, the police testimony so far isn't working in her favor. Another day in court for Amanda Knox. Today, police forensic experts are set to give evidence. Police testimony so far paints a damning picture of Knox. One officer told the trial she did cartwheels and the splits while waiting to be questioned, and at one point sat in her co-accused lap. Behavior, the officer said, was bizarre and inappropriate. The court also heard that a bloody shoe print about the same size as Knox's was found beneath the murder victim. One of the many mysteries in this case is not only who killed Meredith Kircher, but why. Now in a new twist, Rudy Gueda, the man convicted in a fast-track trial, says the real motive was money. Gueda has always admitted being at the cottage the night Kircher was killed, but says he didn't do it. In his appeal, Gueda claims rent money had gone missing from Kircher's room, and she accused Knox of stealing it. But there's always been a whiff of something more sinister, a link to the occult. The prosecutor, Giuliano Manini, initially alleged Knox was taking part in a bizarre Halloween ritual and slit Kircher's throat. That theory was rejected last year by the trial judge and by Knox's supporters. It's not very often that you see a judge in any country calling the prosecution's theory fantasy. But conspiracy theorists have latched onto it, in part because devil worship and the occult are becoming increasingly popular in Italy and have been linked to several high-profile murder cases including one which Giuliano Manini was involved in prosecuting. Experts warn about exaggerating the phenomenon and say drugs often play as much of a role as the devil. Uh, this theme is often connected with the trials in which the evidence is not so strong. The only thing certain about this case is that it has struck a chord with the public. The focus on Knox largely overshadowing the pain and suffering of the victim, Meredith Kircher, and her family. And in court today, there was some support for the defense theory that the police bungled the investigation right from the start. Two officers testified they never followed up some security camera video that showed a vehicle and a person in the vicinity of the crime. Though important to note, the trial is still in its early stages. A lot more witnesses to come. Meredith? All right, Donna Friesen, thank you.